Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky opened his nightly video address on Wednesday by thanking the military for a significant outcome from last night on the territory of Russia. Ukrainian drones struck a large military depot in a town deep inside Russia overnight, causing a huge fire and forcing some residents to evacuate, a Ukrainian official and Russian news reports said Wednesday. At least 13 people were injured, Russia's health ministry added. Ukraine claimed the strike destroyed military warehouses in Toropets, a town in Russia's Tver region about 380 kilometers northwest of Moscow and about 500 kilometers from the border with Ukraine. The attack was carried out by Ukraine's security service, along with Ukraine's intelligence and special operations forces, a Kiev security official told the Associated Press, speaking on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to discuss the operation. According to the official, the depot housed Iskander and Tachka U missiles, as well as glide bombs and artillery shells. He said the facility caught fire in the strike and was burning across an area of 6 kilometers wide. Among the destroyed ammunition were North Korean KN-23 short-range ballistic missiles, another official, in Ukraine's intelligence office, told AP. He also was not authorized to comment publicly and didn't provide evidence to support his claim. Генерал Сирський доповів щодо змін ситуації в Курській області нашої на це реакції, сильної реакції. Кожен наш підрозділ там молодці. Утримаємо ситуацію на нашому плацдармі у межах розрахунків. Максимальна увага і напрямкам на Харківщині та Донеччині, усьому нашому сходу – Покровськ, Торецьк, Курахове. Ми працюємо над посиленням, і це стосується зброї і особового складу. І сьогодні вже можна сказати, що вже повністю підготовлений наш план перемоги, всі пункти, всі ключові акценти, визначені необхідні додатки з деталями до плану. Все пропрацьовано. Найголовніше тепер – рішучість реалізувати. Немає і не може бути жодної альтернативи миру, жодної заморозки війни чи будь-яких інших маніпуляцій, які просто перенесуть російську агресію на інший етап. The Ukrainian military has observed chaotic and inaccurate shelling by Russia in the Kursk region. This erratic firing likely involves military personnel who are still in training. Oleksiy Dmitrashkivsky, a spokesman for the military commandment's office in the Kursk region, shared the information in an interview with Glavcom. According to him, during the Russian troops' offensive in the Kursk region, shelling of settlements has increased, with civilian areas also being targeted. They are using anti-aircraft guns, artillery and kamikaze drones. Given the way the attacks are conducted, these drones are controlled by military personnel who are in training. It is noticeable that the shelling is chaotic and the drones are falling mainly on private houses where there are no Ukrainian military, the colonel said. He noted that this is not the first time Russian forces have done this. In 2014, cadets from the artillery school shelled the towns of Ranitne and Ilovaisk in Ukraine's Donetsk region. The regional operational headquarters of the Kursk region decided to evacuate the population from the 15-kilometer border zone with Ukraine. The regional crisis center has decided to mandate the evacuation of towns in the Rilsky and Komotovsky districts located within a 15-kilometer zone near the Ukrainian border, Kursk region, Governor Alexei Smirnov said. Those districts encompass dozens of villages and towns with a combined population of less than 40,000 people. According to Radio Svoboda, the Russian language service of Radio Free Europe stroke Radio Liberty, the town of Rilsk, with 15,000 residents, is not currently subject to the evacuation order. The decision to evacuate residents appears to have been influenced by ongoing clashes in the Rilsky district, as reported by the VCHK-OGPU telegram channel, which claims to offer government insider information. 
Smirnov previously informed President Vladimir Putin that eight districts in the Kursk region with a total population of 152,000 were under evacuation orders since Ukraine launched its surprise incursion on August the 6th. Kiev has claimed to have advanced several kilometers into Russian territory, capturing scores of towns and villages, including the border town of Sudza. Meanwhile, Moscow asserts that its forces have reclaimed at least a dozen villages in the Kursk region during its recent counter-offensive.